Good morning, everyone. It is another beautiful day on the Disney Wonder. You can see the sea behind me. The sun has not come up yet. We've got another 25 minutes or so before the sun comes up, and I think David's gonna join me today, so that's gonna be great so we can see the sunrise together. Now, you might notice today I have a new Disney Cruise shirt. You can see Disney Cruise Line with Chip and Dale right back there, and on the back, the Disney Cruise Line logo. See, that's I love these shirts. They're really good. I did order them in advance, and I have a, one for David as well so that we can match in some of these pictures. Now, David has told me he's going to start the day with Fab Abs, the exercise program. I, I would join him, but I'm still a little sore from how you know the workout yesterday, so maybe I'll join him tomorrow. Early morning for a sunrise. And David going to Fab Abs. I appreciate you. I absolutely love these early mornings on the cruise ship. It's a little windier than usual, but no less beautiful. The, I mean, the sun has not risen yet. You've got basically the ship to yourself. It is amazing. After experiencing a truly magical sunrise, David and I are headed to Senses Spa so that David can try Fab Abs and let me know how it is for tomorrow. I love the fact that Disney Cruise Line has all these like little places to sit where you know you're just like sitting around either you know someone's in the restroom, someone's doing something, you just want to relax for a few minutes. There are an endless amount of these chairs and really cool like nooks for you to sit in. Here's David leaving me to go to Fab Abs. He's going to tell us all about it. Yeah. Bye Dave. Bye. Bye. I'm uh, considering surprising David. Okay, I made it back to the room. I'm going to change and surprise David at Fab Abs. Okay, I changed outfits and I changed to the GoPro so that I can join David for Fab Abs and I have 45 seconds to get there. I probably won't make it in time, but I don't think they're gonna hold me to that time. Now you might be asking yourself, Michael, why are you doing this? Clearly, you don't really you know, want to do this on a Disney cruise. You'd rather be taking pictures or videos somewhere else. My brother's here with me. He really wants to do it. It's important to him. And what's important to him is important to me. So, 30 minutes of fab abs couldn't hurt. Keep in mind, David does not know that I'm coming to this. He thinks that I'm gonna go walk around and take pictures now and then I'll see him afterwards. So we'll see his surprise when I show up and sit down next to him. Surprise that I join you. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think, Dave? Nice. You? Intense. Yeah. After a super intense fab abs workout where I can barely stand anymore, Dave and I are going to get breakfast at Cabanas. Nothing but sea everywhere you look. 360 degrees of pure sea. Captain America is just finishing up now, so this is the line for Spider-Man. I'm gonna wait in here until David joins me. I just messaged him, so he should be on the way soon, but saying goodbye to Captain America. Hi there, folks. See you, Captain. Good to see you again. Spider-Man. Spider-Man is in the lobby. Now, just to give a little bit more explanation, for example, Spider-Man is here. He arrived at 9.15. The line will remain open until 9.30 for 15 full minutes, but as soon as 9.30 gets here, the line stops, no matter how long it is. So as long as, it's, it's, let's say it's 9.27, you're in good shape. You can see Spider-Man, just have to get in line, and you're in good shape. So it could be a long, long line, but you'll still be able to see him. So as long as you're, as you're here, within 15 minutes of him arriving, you're all set. Now tonight is Pirate Night, so we're gonna have a special pirate shirt on, one of David's personal favorites. It's a really good shirt, we'll show it to you soon. But we were gonna see Black Panther tonight. We're starting to have second thoughts. We'll probably see it tomorrow. After Puerto Rico, we won't miss Captain Hook and Mr. Smee in that case. I think that's a good that's a good way to do it. That way we can see them in our pirate garb. It'll be good, and then we can see Black Panther tomorrow. It's gonna be great. Ba -la -la -la. Well, that's nice because that's why they brought me on the ship. So, so they, they asked me to turn off my my shooters. Oh, just a road trip. Awesome. Well, well, that's nice because you're a team, right? Right. That was awesome meeting Spider-Man. Now we're gonna go get something to drink and then probably sit out on deck four, relax, enjoy a little bit of the sun, and then we'll meet Ariel in the lobby in about 30 minutes. The Emperor's new groove that's playing on the TV here. This pomegranate lemonade is super good. I mean, this is an adventure. This is such an adventure. It's so exciting to be on a seven-night Eastern Caribbean cruise. Ah, <sighs> what a day. I just, I can't get over this. I can't, I'm not gonna be able to get over this. Sit, just, yes. While sitting here and relaxing, David and I are realizing that they really do test these lifeboats all the time. There's, there's still seaweed and like some, some sea stuff on that propeller, 
of this lifeboat right here. So clearly they keep them, I mean, of course they keep them ready, but the fact that, you know, they are testing them to make sure, we don't know how frequently, but at least sometimes, to make sure they're ready if needed, it, to me, so reassuring. I mean, I can't imagine sailing anything but Disney Cruise personally, personally, just because the quality, the level, and it, I spoke to several cast members, and you know, of course, they're biased and all this, but all the other cruise lines fight for a second. That's what they said. And you know, everyone has their opinions, and some, you know, some other people say World Caribbean's the best carnival. Absolutely. No question about it, and I'm not questioning that. And I haven't been on the other, so I'm probably not the best judge of these things. But I personally, I love Disney, love the Disney touches, the Disney experience. I trust it, and I, I absolutely am loving, loving this Disney cruise. After that tour of the ship and more of the details, I'm starting to notice all the little things like the carpet here and the tiles here. You really start to like pick out all these little details. Now we had a light breakfast earlier, we're having another light breakfast, so it's two light breakfasts. We're not spoiling our appetites for pirate night tonight, don't worry. It is 10.10 at the moment, so again, no spoiling right now, we're not stuffing ourselves. There's a little bit more food just to snack on, which is great on the Disney Cruise, fantastic. But look at this view, I mean, you can't, you can't get better, you just can't get better than this. I can't decide what I like best, the French toast, bagel and cream cheese, this hash brown, which is delicious, or the quiche Lorraine. Or, it's all fantastic. I think a medley is my favorite. A fantastic, kind of like secondary breakfast. We're full now, not, not stuffed, but full. And probably won't be eating again until like a, a little bit of a late lunch, just a little bit of food. Then we'll be ready for pirate night tonight and be really hungry for that. So, gotta kind of watch the food intake here. We're back on deck four, going back and forth, looking for the least crowded side. But it's a great place to sit back and relax in those reclining chairs. We're getting a whole new appreciation for it. It's, it's relaxation beyond relaxation. It's, it's so, it's so incredible, it's amazing. It's such a place to be. I, I'm definitely, truly in love with the Disney Cruise Line. I mean, it's, it's perfect for families, absolutely perfect. But when you have the opportunity to sit back and relax on deck four, like, like this on the Disney Wonder on a seven night adventure, I, I, can't, I can't put into words. I can't, I'm not even gonna try. It's just magical. Very different type of vacation. Is it, is it for you? I'm not sure, but I know it's for me. Disney Cruise has definitely got a place in my heart. It's, it's special. It's not every time, but it's sometimes, and it's, it's just extra magical. I, I don't have mine on yet. I'm, I'm almost there, though. I'm gonna have a Jack Sparrow shirt. It's gonna be good. Yeah, good. Great time. That is not vanilla in my hand. That's pina colada. Of course, non-alcoholic, delicious. Let's see what David thinks of my pina colada. What kind of ice cream do you think this is? Um, vanilla. Pino colada. Really? You want some? Yeah, let's go get some. <laughs> See, I told you. Let's go. How did I know he couldn't resist? Here come the princesses right there. Hey. Hi, Stitch. Hey. Yeah. Oh, you're looking so great. Love this costume. You've got the eye patch. I need my costume. Hi. I'm just talking about picture. Look great. Look at that pirate party coming up. Absolutely gorgeous. David convinced me, and I enjoyed it so much. We're getting another shawarma here at Boiler Bites, which uh, features Pete near the slide area on deck nine of the Wonder. Yeah, um, it's a small snack, and it's before two o'clock. The time is now 1.20, so this kind of small snack, just to tide me over to make sure that I don't eat anything at like five or six, is the perfect solution to that second dining. Okay, we've taken our food down to deck three, and we're gonna think about looking into the Cadillac Lounge just for eating in there. We found a really nice table to eat lunch and we're here in the Cadillac Lounge enjoying ourselves. It's so quiet, so nice, and it feels really like you're inside the Cadillac when you sit in here. And we're back at the room to change and convert Mickey to Pirate Mickey. Me Happy Pirate, pirate Night. David and I are on our way to see John Cassidy who's gonna do magic and balloons in the Walt Disney Theater. Let's go experience the magic. You can see we're all dressed up for Pirate Night. We've got the bandana on our heads and these really cool Jack Sparrow shirts. Take a look, see David and I have the same shirt on. Looks great in those pictures. We're about to go see John inside the Walt Disney Theater. No recording in there, but I'll let you know 
how it is. We just saw John Cassidy. He was did a great, great job. He had the kids up there. They were playing around. He was playing with the kids, and they were doing balloon things. It was really, really funny. The magic as well. He had the awkward dad dance. The dads would go up there and try to embarrass their families with a dance and give out prizes. What a great, great show. I absolutely loved it. David did too. Now we're playing what's called The Feud. I have a feeling it's similar to Family Feud in the D Lounge. We're waiting for this event to end with uh, Sophia the First, which should be over in about two minutes, and we'll be able to play the game. Top soft drinks. Team number one says Pepsi. Yeah. It's Pepsi on the board. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is where you get to shout in a polite manner. Your answers to our friend over here to help her out, okay? So what do you think? Oh. Sprite, Sprite. Root beer. Is root beer on the board? Yeah. Oh, oh Lord, no. Good. Dr. Pepper, that's my fave. All right, is Dr. Pepper up there? Yeah. Yes! There you go. Big Coke is Diet Coke on the board. <laughs> yeah! I've got to say, that was a really fun game. Family Feud in the D Lounge. It was a lot of fun, but the other team was really kicking butt. So we're going to meet Tinkerbell now. We're right for a really cool background right over here, we're right outside of the D Lounge. It's going to be great. Got in line for Tinkerbell just a little bit early, but take a look and see how long the line is now. It goes all the way around. So Tinkerbell definitely draws a big crowd. Now, throughout the cruise, we're seeing a lot of these DVC previews to give people the understanding of what it means to be a DVC member, some of the perks of being a member. I'm sure one day, one day I'll get there. Not today, but one day. I'm so glad to hear that. Your word. Had to stop by the room to set up this really cool pirate Mickey magnet on the door. Thank you again for sending me all of these magnets. I really appreciate it. You can see I'm using all the ones you sent me. It means a great deal. Welcome to Pirate Night, mate. Today our first character meet and greet, Captain Jack Sparrow. Arr, me hearties. Ready to meet Captain Jack Sparrow? Hi, mate. Let's do it. Uh, you excited for Pirate Night? Yeah. yeah. All right, it's gonna be fun. Sometimes that's scary, then you're like, no, no, you're a little bit. No, no. Yeah. Maybe there. Hi there, I'm Hello. 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 How's it going? Alright. Your level of awesomeness. Eventually I'll get there. One of these days. Good luck. How are we doing? Alright. See, we're kind of matching and they're matching too. Ah. Yeah. It's so Salted caramel coconut latte is what I'm going to be trying at Cove Cafe, apparently one of the most popular. Here we are enjoying the Cove Cafe view right here. Take a look at this. You've also got the uh, feet rest right there, which is absolutely fantastic. Trying this coffee for the first time. Wow, wow, that was so good. Highly recommend it. Mm. I've got to tell you, after getting through about a third or almost a half of this coffee, it is, it's, I, I've got to just come out and say it, it's one of the best coffees I've ever had. It's just so good. It's just, it is so, so good. And David, who's not a big coffee drinker, tried some. David? Very, very good. Unbelievable. This is, it's, it's probably one of the best coffees I've ever had. Cove Cafe, the Salted Caramel Coconut Latte, I think is what it's called. Sean's suggestion, phenomenal. We just spoke to a very kind cast member, Howard, who's part of the crew here, and we were asking him, hey, Howard, are these, you know, waves of Disney, literal waves of Disney, more intense than, you know, others that you've seen before? He comes over to us, looks at us straight in the face, he's like, these are nothing, just absolutely nothing. He said, this is perfect sailing weather. So even though it feels a little bit more intense to us, because we, I mean, on the dream, it must have been just glassy water, you know, it's a little bit more, but apparently this is like zero on the one to 10 extreme wave scale. So I'm, uh, I'm happy to hear that, but no, you know, you know, he said it can get even more extreme. We go go the Gulf of Mexico, Alaska. You have to you know close down these decks sometimes because it gets so intense. But usually Disney ships try to avoid that. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of little comments that he made that I thought was really interesting. But I'm glad to know that we're here during a really nice calm sailing. Thanks to the captain for not taking us into those storms. We're on deck nine for the pirate deck party. Up. We're probably not going to stand down here. We're probably going to go to deck ten because I just feel like that's a great view. So here we are, right front and center. They've got everything ready to go. We should be there in 30 minutes. Dance party, Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirate Dance Party. The volume's just a little bit too high. It's just, it's just a little bit too loud. So I think I'm gonna go to the uh, to deck 10 for kind of a different perspective. We found a new spot just overlooking the stage. And this is the other side. This is the uh, starboard side of the ship. So we should be seeing the fireworks right over there. So it's a whole new perspective. It's gonna be great and the volume is much better here. I am so ready to party. Yeah. Are you oh, ready? Yeah. The flash mob.
fantastic show and fireworks. It was totally different than the one on the dream. Now we're going back to Tiana's place for a special pirate themed menu. I can't wait. Oh, Ahoy! <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean dinner. How do I choose one appetizer? It's unfair. Wow, there are so many good ones. They've got the uh, half pint shrimp cocktail, the smoked brie. Oh my gosh, that looks good. Davy Jones Locker rock crab cake. I don't know what to choose. Good thing we didn't eat uh, kind of a late lunch there. Wow, this all looks good. So David and I usually like to try different things at our dinners, but we both like really want to try the crab cake and Treasure of the Sea, so I think we're both going to do that. You know, it's going to be great. And uh, I'm thinking about the carrot and cilantro soup. David, which soup are you thinking? But I'm thinking I'm going to try the chilled mango. I've got to tell you, Tiana's is one of my all-time favorite places on The Wonder. It's so well themed. The food is unbelievable, and I haven't even tried the pirate food yet. The food yesterday was just unbelievable. But I think the atmosphere, the atmosphere is what really gets me. There's music, there's live entertainment sometimes, not during pirate night, but sometimes there's live entertainment. What a place, what a place. Take a look, we have the crab cakes right here for David and myself, and the brie in the middle for us to share. Let's dig in. Wow. The, sl the secondary flavor hits you. That's perfect. Love it. I've never had crab cake like that in my whole life. It's, it's the essence. This is exactly what you would expect. It is a perfect crab cake. Perfect. Now it goes to show everyone has a different taste. I love my carrot and cilantro soup. David had a chance to try it. He didn't really care for it too much. The mango soup, David loved it, one of his all-time favorites. I didn't really care for it, so everybody's got their own favorite. Taking care of the shrimp for us too, the service, unbelievable. We've heard now three or four times, Treasure of the Seas, the number one recommendation for the pirate dinner, Bon Appetit. First bite of a scallop, cooked to perfection. Shrimp and pasta, flavors. Flavors like you would not imagine. Just on the head, nailed it on the head. Take a look at the dessert menu. It is a ship in a bottle, and it looks like there are a lot of good stuff, including the bananas in paradise or the rum soaked chocolate cake. I don't know what to get. Or perhaps the caramel macadamia nut cheesecake tart. Gonna have to rec ask a recommendation. In honor of David's birthday celebration, I had a little surprise in store for him. I don't think, did you expect it? I did not. He didn't really expect it too much. You can see the birthday cake with the candle in it. Take a look at that. Great surprise. Erickson is so kind, so thoughtful. He brought the uh, cheesecake, he brought the chocolate cake, and he brought the banana, because he knew we were interested in it. So considerate, great service. Let's try them. Okay, we're trying the banana first. Interesting. Interesting. It's kind of weird. You got banana bread, chocolate, some uh, cream on there, but I can see why he didn't recommend it. It's, n it's not the best. He's such great recommendations. Here comes the pirate party. Now the kids and adults are going to limbo. We're joining the line here. The whole dining room is up now. Oh, I got it. There you go. There he is. He got it too. We got it. The whole restaurant is basically on their feet doing the limbo. Love it. The pirate chocolate cake, one of its eats. That's pretty good, the, the raspberry with it. It's very, very good. Next up is the caramel macadamia cheesecake tart. Bon appetit. That's extremely good. I can see why he recommended it. That, I think, is the best. Truly fantastic dinner here at Tiana's. The pirate dinner was just so, so good. Now we're going to make our way to take some more pictures, probably with Pirate Goofy and those really cool backgrounds. But let me tell you, fantastic. That was a 10 out of 10. I mean, knocked it out of the park, Tiana's. Truly amazing food, amazing service, amazing place. I love this restaurant. My favorite on the wonder by far. We just met Captain Mickey. He is so great to meet. I'm glad we had a chance to see him in our pirate garb. Now we're going to take these really cool pictures. Just took those fantastic pictures with a few of our favorite photographers. They, they really get to know you on the longer cruises. They know our names. They, they even knew our room number. Like one of them, so good memory. Robert was amazing. But we really get the opportunity to get to know the cast members, whether it's a character attendant or a photographer. They are phenomenal. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. We just met Pirate Minnie. She was great, but look how close we are to San Juan, Puerto Rico. We are getting very close now, but 
You know, I, I keep wishing that it's another day at sea and another day at sea. These days at sea, oh, they are so, so nice. We've checked around a little bit and it looks like we have missed the pirate buffet. That's okay. That's all right. We'll have other opportunities on future cruises because, you know, I mean, I can already feel it. I'm going to be coming back again for future cruises. I know I will. So we'll see it again some other time. And another day of Disney wonder magic comes to an end. I wish it wasn't. I know. It's, just, it's going too fast for me. It really, really is. I am loving this vacation so, so much. Can't even tell you about it. Hope you're having just as much fun as we are. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, yo-ho, me hearty. Have a magical night.